<laughs> and as you can tell, we were in the mid lane against a Riven, which is kind of awkward because Rivens do quite well in the mid lane. I mean, there was a time where Faker was playing Riven mid a lot, and that was quite possibly the worst time in my life. Everybody played Riven mid, and she's so good at the dueling, which sucks, because as you can see, it's just a lot of damage. A, a lot of damage. But I think we can, you know, just sustain and remain in the membrane, drop some dope beats and rhymes at the same time. <laughs> drop some dope beats. And yeah, I'm just pretty much going to stay in experience range. Not going to go too deep for all the experience, because or every last hit, sorry, because it's just not worth it. Because honestly, going for one last hit, I'm going to lose, like, Legitimately half my health with this level advantage. So we'll just wait sit under tower and look at this. There we go, baby That is that's some beautiful stuff there need to last hit it a bit earlier. Oh, yes Okay, 8 CS to 10. So we only missed out on two to me. That's pretty good that there's no bad All right, there we go now is now is getting screwed up But we didn't die and we do have that crystalline in three pots and all she has is one pot So if we get a bit of poke off as long as she cannot sustain it, we gonna be good, bruh. We gonna be good. I'm gonna use my E and go for the engage here, just so I can get the the cannon minion. But as you see, I lost half my health. She lost like one third, so not not too bad, I guess. Actually, that went better than expected. And the thing is, I knew my E was gonna end up getting me the cannon minion, so I was like, this will be alright. Oh, see, I could have gone in with the E, but I was scared I would die before the jungle got there. Bit of a bitch play, but I see he's coming around. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What can I do here? What can I do? Oh, the flash. The flash. Okay, I easily could have got the kill, but the flash out is too much. I'm looking for a play here. I'm looking for a play. I'm looking for a play. Got ignite up. Should probably pop the crystalline flask. I mean, this minion wave is huge. Oh god. Come on. Where's the plays at? Where them plays at? Alright, check this. Oh! Yes, 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 yes! Rango! Oh, baby! Oh! Where you at, though? Where they at, though? Where they at, though? Oh, mate. Meaty mate in the middle of Meterstein is honestly what went on there. You know what I'm saying? That was redonkulous. Yes, I said redonkulous. What it do? What it do, baby? And we're just going to back it off. Wa waves have reset in the middle of lane, and that is beautiful. I am completely and entirely happy with that. Only one CS behind. And that, that was a wicked little jungle interaction there. And uh, we came out best. All right, so now. Now, a lot of people... Oh, okay. I was about to start a bit of a rant about Sheen. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure, but I don't think Lich Bane first item is the best option because it doesn't scale that... I mean, it scales all right, but it doesn't do much damage until you have a lot of AP, I think, because let me just check. But, well, for example, Lich Bane doesn't. But I guess Sheen would be good for the early damage, but I think maybe Lich Bane, you know, second or third item. I was really liking DFG first item on Fizz when I was building it. But regardless, it doesn't matter. Any of that doesn't matter because I want to get that Seeker's Arm Guard as the first item. And whenever you're playing against AD mids, whether it's Yasuo, Riven, Zed, or Jace, you want this beautiful baby. And it's, it's kind of like Rod of Ages. A lot of people don't realize that, that it actually stacks up. Great bait, mate. Oh, okay, okay. Almost a great bait, mate. But it stacks up, so after you get 30 CS with this, like the old Bloodthirster used to be, you will get uh, extra armor, so that's really good. she got no flash, but she's got that shield, and that's that's the really good thing about Riven in the mid lane. Her shield and plus her jumps from her Q is almost like the entirety, the entire lane, so you don't have to be too worried when you don't have flash. He just, oh, I'm scared of going for the Riven. He's got this alone. He doesn't need me. I was scared this year was going to like do a lot of damage when I was trying to get to the Kha'Zix. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, crystalline flask, baby. Crystalline flask, baby. Where are you at? Oh, someone's there. Someone's there. Oh, that's Timo. Oh, that's Timo. Timo, what you doing, bro? Does he have flash? Because I got my E back up. 
Timo, what you doing, mate? No, no kill for you.